the sound of that. All right, so let's turn it over to Sean Styles because it was a nice day today, but you got to know, how does tomorrow look? Because we want to know what tomorrow is like. Well, it, it's not going to be as nice as it was today, but compared to some other parts of the country, it's going to be pretty darn nice. And another thing about that coaster that's incredible is there's no, your feet are just hanging there. It's just an incredible <laughs> thrill ride to say the least. 72 is our high today, 67. The 30 year average and the overnight low because of the clear skies. Pretty chilly out there, down to 44 degrees. So that's 10 degrees below where we should be. Uh, we'll straighten things out a little bit tomorrow. Looking at the current temperatures out there, we're talking about upper 50s to low 60s along the coastline. We've already dipped into the upper 50s in Ramona, where it's 58 degrees right now. 61 in Poway, 63 in Escondido, and in the mountains, we're down into the 40s already. 49 in Julian, and it's still in the low 70s for the folks out in Borrego Springs. So this trial brings in this cooler air mass that'll affect us tomorrow and we'll also see some pretty windy conditions west of the mountains not so much in the mountains and into the deserts yeah it's going to get very windy out there because of the onshore flow that will switch and will go offshore by the time we get into the work week and that will bring us a slight warming trend as we uh, look at high pressure trying to reestablish. That's a look down towards downtown San Diego from Mount Soledad, 61 degrees right now, and the humidity at 67% winds. They're light along the coastline. Surf will be fun tomorrow, two to three feet, although the air temperature a little bit chillier. Rip current shouldn't be a big problem, but we've got a big swell heading our way by, say, Thursday as we make our way into the work week. Look at this cold air moving across the Great Lakes region all the way down into the mid-Atlantic. They're expecting a bomb cyclone storm. That's where the temperatures and humidities all combine with the barometer dropping 24 points in 24 hours. So they're talking about some incredible snow as this area of low pressure pulls on through. Look at all the cold air streaming across the Great Lakes. They're talking about heavy lake effect snow around Buffalo and those areas. As we come out west, Low pressure plowing into the Pacific Northwest. Our high will keep most of that activity out of our area in the sense that we'll only see cooler temperatures. There's that low as it digs down into the basin there. And then this high starts to reestablish as we get into the first part of the work week and that will give us those warmer temperatures. So daylight saving tonight, set your clock forward so you'll be able to enjoy a later sunset and the official St. Patrick's Day will be taking place on Thursday. Those temperatures warm up nicely. Look at that 80 on Monday, then 79, and then we get another warming trend as high pressure reestablishes. For you folks in the mountains, pretty darn nice. We'll stay in the low 70s to upper 60s and out in the deserts almost into the 90s as we get towards uh, Tuesday and on into Wednesday. Steve, Kirsten. All right, thank you for that, Sean.